I just want to remind you to subscribe to all the channels of the ministry and to share all the videos of the ministry on all your various social media platforms. And the Lord God Almighty will really bless you as you do so. In the mighty name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord with me, somebody. Praise the one who was, who is, and who is to come again. Praise our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I greet you all in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I am Kemji Theodore, and I am the author of this Our Holiness book known as Understanding the Doctrines of Strategic Holiness, Volume 1, The Doctrine of Strategic Component of Holiness. It is available on Amazon. We are studying holiness, and the question is, why are we doing so? The answer is simple. We are doing so because the Holy Bible teaches so. The Holy Bible teaches that holiness is the qualification to make it to heaven. The Holy Bible teaches that holiness is the requirement to make it to heaven. The Holy Bible teaches that holiness is the condition to make it to heaven. The Holy Bible clearly teaches that without holiness, no one shall make it to heaven. Therefore, it is our responsibility to study holiness, live such a wonderful life here on earth, so that at the end of our life here on earth, we will all make it to heaven. Hallelujah. We are in lecture one now. We have 150 lectures of holiness unto the Lord revival study in series one and 200 lectures in series two. Lecture one has to do with the definition of some terms. We are defining some terms that we are going to use during our lectures. We do not want to take for granted that we understand all these terms. There are 65 of them. So by God's grace, we have already defined the first 40. So we are going to define the 41st term now, known as mediator. But before we do, I would like us to commit it into the hands of the Lord. So wherever you are, please stand on your feet or fall down on your knees and begin to cry to the Lord. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for this wonderful opportunity to study your word. Lord Jesus, it is a unique opportunity and we do not take it for granted. Lord, we thank you because you are the only mediator. Give us a revelation to understand that you, are the, you, that you are the only mediator between man and God. There is no other mediator, Lord Jesus. We give you all the praise. We give you all the honor. We thank you because even before we ask, you have already heard us and answered us. We thank you, Lord, for the wonderful revelation in your word that you are the only mediator between man and God. Lord Jesus, I cover this definition with the blood of Lord Jesus, in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. So, what is a mediator? The New Illustrated Bible Dictionary on page 815 defines a mediator as one who goes between two groups or Persons to help them work out their differences and come to agreement. I repeat, the New Illustrated Bible Dictionary on page 815 defines mediator as one who goes between two groups or persons to help them work out their differences and come to agreement. You know, in the days of old, 
people had you no know, to offer sacrifices they offer sacrifices of goat of lamb without blemish without spot in order to take away their sins but we are told that all these sacrifices could not take away sins because they were not perfect god almighty is perfect god almighty is holy so the lord jesus christ is the only mediator between man and god is the only mediator there is no other mediator there's no other mediatrix the lord jesus christ alone is the only mediator between man and god open your bibles with me to him to i beg your pardon open your bibles with me to first timothy 2 5. open your bibles with me to first timothy 2 5. For there is one God and one mediator between God and man, the man Christ Jesus. It is abundantly clear. That scripture is crystal clear. It cannot be clearer. That there is one God and there is also one mediator between God and man, the man Christ Jesus, 1 Timothy 2, 5. I repeat, for there is one God and one mediator between God and man, the man Christ Jesus. It is crystal clear that our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is the only mediator between man and God. Let's read Hebrews 8 verse 6. Hebrews 8 verse 6. I read, But now has he obtained a more excellent ministry, by how much also he is the mediator of a better covenant, which was established upon better promises. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, is the mediator. The Bible doesn't say that he is a mediator. It says that he is the mediator. Means that he is the only mediator. He is the, the mediator of a better covenant, which was established upon better promises. That's Hebrew 8, verse 6. Let now read Hebrews 9:15. And for this cause, he is the mediator of the New Testament, that by means of death, for the redemption of the transgressions that were under the First Testament, they which are called may receive the promise of internal inheritance. That is Hebrews 9.15. Hebrew 9.15 also reiterate the fact that our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is the only mediator between God and man. There is one God and one mediator between God and man. The man Christ Jesus. 1 Timothy 2.5 Finally, let's read Hebrews 12.24 Let us read Hebrews 12.24 And to Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant, and to the blood of sprinkling, that speaketh better things than, the, than that of Abel. I repeat, I'm reading Hebrews 12:24 And to Jesus the mediator of the new covenant and to the blood of sprinkling that speaketh better things than that of Abel So what is the significance of Jesus being the only mediator You know today 
people think that their, 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 their pastors are the mediator between them and God. Some people pray through their, their, their pastors as a mediator between them and God. But the Bible is telling us that only Jesus is the mediator between you and God. Some people pray through you know, their, their, their leaders. Other pray through their parents. Other pray through their friends. People pray through different, different channels. People use different channels as mediators between them and God Almighty. But the Bible is telling us that there is only one God and there is only one mediator between God and man. The man, Christ Jesus, 1 Timothy 2, 5. It cannot be clearer. If you want to approach God, pass through Jesus. Don't pass through any other man. Don't pass through any other thing. Don't pass through any other channel. It is only Jesus who is the channel to God Almighty. If you want to talk to God, pass through Jesus because he is the only mediator. He is the only channel between God and man. There is one God and there is one mediator between God and man. The man, Christ Jesus. 1 Timothy 2.5 it is very important. Today people use different channels. Some people use water. Some people use sun. Some people use different things. Some people use a, a, a apron. They use different things as channels to get in touch with God. But the Bible is telling us that it is only Jesus. It is only Jesus. It is the Lord Jesus Christ who is the only channel between you and God. Is the only mediator between you and God. There is one God and one mediator between God and man. The man Christ Jesus. 1 Timothy 2, 5. It is very important for us to understand. Because so many Christians are going to hell. So many believers are going to hell because they use different channels to communicate to God. They pass through different channels to communicate to God. The pass through man, the pass through preachers, the pass through other channels, the pass through, through idols to get in touch with God. But the Bible is telling us that there is only one God and one mediator between God and man. The man Christ Jesus. 1 Timothy 2.5 Never pass through any other channel. Never pass through man. Never pass through any preacher. Never pass through any Bible scholar. Never pass through any theologian. Never pass through anything. Any idol to get to God. Pass through the Lord Jesus Christ. Because he is the only mediator between man and God. It's time for us to pray. Stand on your feet and begin to confess your sin. Maybe you have passed through people. You have passed through different channels. On social media, you have passed through uh, preachers, you have passed through Bible scholars, you have passed through different idols to get to God. Those are all false idols. They cannot lead you to God. In fact, they lead you to Satan. All those idols that you pass through, they lead you to Satan. All those people that you pass through, they lead you to Satan. They do not lead you to God. It is only Christ Jesus that leads to God. Any other channel, any other person, any other thing that you think can lead you to God, it leads you to Satan. It is only Christ Jesus that leads to God. Any other thing leads to Satan. Any other person leads to Satan. Open your mouth and begin to confess your sin. Cry to the Lord. Ask for repentance. That you will never pass through any other channel. You will always pass through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Because there is one God and one mediator between God and man. The man Christ Jesus. First Timothy 2, 
verse 5. Open your mouth and begin to cry to the Lord. Ask the Lord to forgive you all your sins. Ask the Lord to forgive you all the abominations you have been committing by passing through. Some people pass through their church. They pray in the name of the God of their church. Some people pray in the name of the God of their pastor. All these are idols that lead to Satan. These idols don't lead to God. If you pray through, if you pray in the name of the God of your pastor, you are praying to Satan. If you pray in the name of the God of your church, you are praying to Satan. Pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ alone. In the mighty name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Never pray in the name of the God of your church. Never pray in the name of the God of your ministry. Never pray in the name of the God of your pastor. Pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Because he alone is the mediator between God and man. There is one God and one mediator between God and man. The man Christ Jesus. 1 Timothy 2 verse 5. Many believers today pray in the name of the God of their pastor. Many Christians today pray in the name of the God of their pastor. Others Christians pray in the name of the God of their church. Many pray in the name of the God of their, of their ministry. All this they are praying to Satan. They are not praying to God Almighty. Because God Almighty clearly teaches that there is one God and one mediator between God and man. The man Christ Jesus. Always pray in the name of the God. Always pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Never pray in the name of the God of your church. Never pray in the name of the God of your ministry. Never pray in the name of the God of your pastor. Never pray in the name of the God of your parents. Always pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Because he alone is the mediator between man and God. If you have been praying in the name of the God of your pastor, repent now before it's too late for you. You have been praying the name of the God of your church. Repent now before it is too late for you. You have been praying in the name of the God of your ministry. Repent now before it is too late for you. If you have been praying in the name of the God of your parents, repent now before it is too late for you. Always pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Because there is one God and one mediator between man and God. The man, Christ Jesus. 1 Timothy 2.5 Heavenly Father, we thank you for this wonderful revelation that there is one God and one mediator between God and man. The man, Christ Jesus. In 1 Timothy 2.5 Lord Jesus, deliver us from idol worship, Lord. King of glory, some of us have been praying in the name of the God of our church. Some of us have been praying in the name of the God of our pastors. Some of us have been praying in the name of the God of our ministry. Some of us have been praying in the name of the God of our parents. Lord, forgive us, Lord. We are committing abomination in your eyes, Lord Jesus. King of glory, forgive us. Forgive us for misinterpreting scriptures and praying in the name of other gods, Lord. Instead of praying in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, King of glory, let us understand that there is one God and one mediator between God and man, the man Christ Jesus, in 1 Timothy 2.5. We give you all the praise. We give you all the honor. We thank you for forgiving us in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. I hope you have been blessed. And I admonish you to subscribe to the ministry, to all the channels of the ministry, and to share all the videos of the ministry on all your various social media platforms so that as many people as possible can watch them and amend their ways before it is too late for them. Once again, thank you and see you in the next definition, the 42nd definition. It has to do with confession. So see you in that definition soon. In the mighty name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. See you soon. Bye bye for the moment. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 
I just want to remind you that please subscribe to all the channels of the ministry and share all the videos of the ministry on your various social media platforms so that as many people as possible will watch all these videos and amend their ways before it is too late for them. Do so and God Almighty will really bless you in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Say with me, Amen.